This endeavor would be my largest adventure yet, traveling from the capital all the way to the Altai Mountains. We will see a lot of outstanding views. Bait in the most remote of places, meet local people and much more. Before leaving town, we gather some supplies at the local markets. After packing, we group up just outside the city and do some strange rituals. And so our adventure starts. Almost 2000 kilometers between us and our destination. Our first stop is Karakorum, the historical town of Mongolia. Under Genghis Khan, this was the capital of the Mongol Empire. Although the size was relatively small, it held a strategic and symbolic position within the people. The city fell into decline, however, when Kublai Khan moved the Mongol capital to what is now known as Beijing. To this day, it remains a very important symbol of the Mongol Empire and its people. After that history lesson, we drove on for hours and hours through endless plains. Darkness was setting in and I was getting tired. We set up camp by the river, but before that I rode some horse and shot some arrows. Really nice. The evening ends with a nice cozy campfire and some food. The morning starts with a refreshing dip into the river. We start the car for what would be another very long drive again. As I said, the drive was long, very long. It's already night when we set up camp. It's getting really cold and we're thinking about sleeping outside, but then there was a yurt available suddenly and Kidney? yeah, that's just really cool. The first time sleeping yeah. in a yurt. Nice. Well, come on. <laughs> During the morning, I stopped to see how beautiful this place actually is. After having breakfast, on we went, again. I feel that. I feel that with every mile we go, we go deeper into unknown territory. Now with more planes, planes and again more planes. That until we arrive at an even bigger lake. We start the day with another refreshing dive into the lake. I think I've never been this remote, nothing of civilizations to see in miles around you. Thinking the next driving day would be as boring as the rest, but boy was I wrong. I'm just gonna show you guys the footage. The fool that I was, thinking the bad roads were over, I was presented with this bad Open boy. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a tight fit. An old Russian van from Soviet times would bring us to the mountain. Remember that we still have 200 kilometers left to do. 
Filled with optimism, I stepped into the van. We fixed the CD player for some awesome bangers. And on we went. In, we took a break because honestly everyone was sick. Me and Doogie decided to walk the part. The van of death soon picked up our scent and we stepped into it again. <laughs> After six miserable hours of driving, we arrive at the main base camp. Only a couple of kilometers to the foot of the mountain. And what cooler way to get to our destination than by horse, am I right? So we finally made it, but the journey is far from over. We are so deep into the middle of nowhere that many things can go wrong. And they will go wrong. So back to the van to find some shelter. The next day started very peaceful. But soon we would enter the van again and you know the drill. Soon we would find civilization again. From there on, it was a smooth drive, and with that, my road trip came to an end. So many things I got to experience. The remoteness, the local cuisine, the horrible roads, and so much more. I still have some days left in Mongolia, but nothing planned yet. I'm curious what that will bring. For now, I want to say goodbye, and hopefully till next time.